couple of days ago, Killer had some stealth changes added to his spawn rate and where he spawns on the interchange map. And this wasn't announced at all, no one really expected it until they started finding Killer spawning in random locations non aggroed around the shopping mall. For example, I put out a tweet a couple of days ago saying, I just found Killer in Idea, has anyone else found something? And the answer is yes, that same day they added a bunch of new spawn locations for Killer, as well as reducing his spawn chance from 38% down to 33%, which is a blessing and a curse. This update, in my opinion, is to make the stylish one quest a little bit more interesting, because previous to this update people were just running straight into the centre of the Ultra Shopping Mall, then running towards the Kibber store and then just checking for Killer and seeing if he spawned inside Brutal or Attic, and then running away and extracting. That's what people seem to be doing a lot because there isn't a lot of chances to find PvP in the interchange map, especially if the power doesn't get turned on. Nowadays you're going to see the main bulk of players hunting killer themselves running around the map rather than just to one location, which is great because you get to see a little bit more of a varied combat situation as well as some unpredictable gameplay moments, and I'm not just talking about from players, but also killer as well. Imagine for a second that you're not trying to hunt killer and you're just trying to get loot by walking around the shopping mall and then all of a sudden you see a burst of tracer rounds coming straight from your face from a dark corner or you're walking around one of the superstores and then you just see killer perched up by some shelving units looking like he's about to buy the last container of condensed milk. It's going to bring a whole lot of life to interchange in places that you wouldn't expect. So that's what I think of this update. And now for the rest of this video, let's talk about those spawn locations. Whether you're trying to avoid him or trying to kill him, I'm going to go over all of the spawn locations for Killer as of 12.11 and how to combat those situations. So if you do find him spawning in one of those locations, then you'll be able to kill him. And if you are looking for that tracksuit, we'll get you to that tracksuit as quick as possible. Before the spawns though, I'm going to quickly go over a few tips about fighting him and how to fight him in general which basically is a given if you want to take him out quickly. First off, let's talk about his chest armor and helmet. He's going to be rocking a 6B13 tan on his body, and that is a level 5 armor. His helmet is a level 4 armor, and that is a masker helmet, but he does have a face shield, and that is level 6 armor. So if you're aiming for anything that is not his limbs, which I don't recommend doing, I recommend shooting him in the back of the head or the top of the head which is level 4 protection meaning a lot of the time you're going to want to try and get around to the back of him or wait for him to patrol and turn the other way and then you can shoot him in the back of the head but unless you've got a really really high tier ammo I doubt you'll get one shot and he'll be dropped dead so make sure that you have a backup plan and start spraying center mass if you need to. Also if you have friends let them come with you you can always do with a bit of backup to soften him up a little bit and you can also use random players on the map to help you with that as well because if you stay out of sight of killer and out of his range and he does have quite a good amount of range on him and you just stay out of the way and wait and you can keep an eye on killer you don't need to shoot him straight away someone else might come up to him and killer might kill him or he might soften him up in which case you can uh, take the shot at the PMC and either scare him off or kill him and then you'll be free to finish off killer yourself. Also killer likes to run and power slide so make sure you know an exit route. No matter where you're engaging him from do not repeek and if he decides to chase you make sure you put enough hard cover between you and him as quick as possible. Don't use windows, don't use boxes, he will shoot through those. Make sure you've got like a concrete wall or a concrete pillar behind you and he will start throwing grenades so get some distance as quick as possible as well and then just flank him from a different angle. You used to be able to shoot killer in the legs and it sort of stun lock him into submission and you'll just be able to spray his legs with really low tier ammo and it will kill him, he won't be able to do anything to you. They fixed that a while ago so don't try it boys, just, just don't. So yeah, a few quick tips for fighting him, now let's talk about all of his spawn locations, starting off with the original one and that is just outside of Kibba, either in the Addict store or the Brutal store. Now, in that corridor in the center of the Ultra Shopping Mall, he does like to sit and still does even though he has got other spawn locations now. He'll be either patrolling around in front of Kibba, walking up and down, he could either be standing and sitting around by some sandbags just to the side of Addict, 
He can also go up the metal staircases and walk around by Jacob and Jacob and then come back down, or he can walk down towards the national store and then walk back up to the Kibber store. So that whole area of the shopping mall, both upstairs and downstairs, is pretty locked down if Killer does spawn there. But there are a few options that I can give you in order to take Killer out in these locations. What you could do is either get a high powered submachine gun like a Vector and pack that with something like 7M31 or AP 6.3 or you can get the 45 Vector and get armor piercing ammo for that and just take him up close and personal and try and shoot him in the back of the head and get behind him while he's not aggroed. You can easily run up behind him if you're quick enough and if you've got high powered ammo you can take him down before he turns around and locks onto your head eyes and shoots you. That is a very ballsy move and doesn't always work so my preferred method is actually running all the way down towards the MES store and TTS. You'll be standing underneath an octagon and what you'll see there is a bunch of stairs and sort of a raised bed area with a few bushes. If you jump up on top of the wooden chairs in that center area, you can look all the way down with a weapon with something like a hammer scope or a monstrum on it, and you can see the kibber store, you can see the side of Brutal, and you can see the side of Attic. Whether he's going to be patrolling up and down, or he's just sitting by some sandbags, you will see Killer and you'll be out of range of him, so you will be able to shoot him, and if you've got high powered ammo in something like a SKS or anything like that or a 308 MDR, you'll be able to take him out in a couple of hits and he won't return fire at you. He may start running towards you, in which case like I said in my quick tips, make sure you've got an option to mow him down by shooting him center mass before he gets in range of you to start shooting you. He can now also spawn in Idea, Goshen and Ollie. All three of the main superstores he can spawn outside, so let's start with Idea. Most of the time that I've seen him, you can find him just patrolling around the front by the cash registers. And he can also stand all the way over by the kitchen area underneath that platform, as well as where all of the lockers are, right at the front by the elevators, sort of out of the way by the customer service help desk. Whether he's staying stationary and just waiting for a player or patrolling up and down, killing him in idea isn't going to be easy. You are going to need to get up close and personal and he will likely aggro on you before you're able to return fire. So what I recommend doing is laying down behind some hard cover and sort of peeking with your lean keys and lean out, take a couple of shots and then sort of track where he's going and then peek from a different angle and take another couple of shots. This is likely going to be 50-50 whether you die or win, but if you've got something with high powered ammo, you should be okay. Either that, or go behind some boxes and wait to peek out with a high powered submachine gun again, fast fire rate is your friend, and then just take him out that way. Bit of a nightmare, but Goshen on the other hand isn't so much. You're able to get long lines of sight by the cash registers, so you're able to take him out long range, and you've also got a load of cover that you can sort of play ring around the rosy with Killer when he decides to chase you. Usually you'll see him in the center part of the Goshen shopping mall, just standing by some shelving units or by the lighting in the front of the Goshen store. He won't so much patrol, from my experience I've just seen him staying stationary and waiting for players, so bear that in mind, but what I usually like doing in this location is shooting him and then running sort of circles around him by the box and he will follow you. It's like a dog chasing his towel running around this box and what you can do is sort of turn around, shoot a couple of shots and then keep running and keep letting him chase you. And because there's so much cover that he won't shoot through, you're able to sort of create this little pathway for him to follow and you're able to shoot him in certain locations and sort of set up a flanking trap for yourself. And if you've got a friend, this is a great opportunity for you to position some friends in throughout this sort of maze that you're getting him to travel through and shoot a couple of shots as you're getting him to run through this thing and then you can finish him at the end. Or you can just go balls to the wall like most people decide to do and take a high powered submachine gun because that's the meta. That and the mutant, obviously. Ollie is the last of the three superstores. He can spawn out the front once again, but he can also spawn anywhere inside of the Ollie store. So this is actually the hardest superstore that in my experience to actually find the guy in, even if he is in there. But 
what I recommend doing is staying out the front, quite some distance away from the store itself, and he will start either chasing you or shooting you, in which case you can reposition behind some hard cover that's left out the front of the store and re-peek from the angle you were getting shot from. It's a maze inside of Ollie itself, so what you're going to want to do is stay out of the main store because you are likely to be jump scared by him just sitting around and waiting for a player. So what you're going to want to do is stay away and sort of if you can keep an eye on the store itself and if you see movement aim down sights and make sure if that is killer you can take a few shots from range or just wait for him to shoot you and then you can sort of hide behind cover and wait for him to run behind the cover in which case you've got a flank there with a high powered weapon and you could just take him out by shooting him center mass with either fast fire rate or just a good trigger finger. And now there's one more spawn that we can go over, the underground. He doesn't spawn anywhere in the underground, he's got a specific spawn and that is right underneath Ollie and right underneath Idea. He can spawn anywhere in that car park section at the front of the store, underneath both of them, and he will shoot you through cars and boxes under there, so be careful, you're going to want a flashlight, you're going to want to locate him as quick as possible, and you're going to want to hide behind the pillars there are quite a few pillars down there so you can be lucky with that or the concrete bollards that are placed on the floor one good thing about this area and i've noticed this not just once but killer likes to throw grenades but those grenades often get caught in his running path his running path's a bit scuffed down there when he's trying to run closer to you to start shooting you i found that killer likes to grenade himself Killinated himself. <laughs> I wasn't even expecting to find you down here. And that's a blessing for you, but when you're trying to get the kill, it's a bit of a nightmare as well. So, if you hear him throw a grenade and then start running towards the direction he threw it in, then make sure you step out and take a few shots first in the hopes of killing him. Otherwise, you're just going to get the loot, which is great, but you're not going to get the kill if you are trying to do the stylish one quest or the Huntsman Path sellout, which is also a quest that requires you to kill Killer. So those are all the spawns and how to take advantage of them as of 12.11 for Killer. So if this video helped you, a like's always appreciated, all that fun stuff. Thanks for all your support lately, it does mean the world. But what do you think of these changes? Personally, I think they're great because a lot of the spawns are situated around sort of high loot areas so people are going to be looting there and if you see him it may be a little bit unpredictable and it'll make players a little bit more wary when they're going to these areas anyway but they've also added it to the underground meaning there might be a little bit more life under there as well which is great but let me know what you think other than that guys thank you so much for watching i'll see you in the next video i love you lots see you soon